Hello, I'm Ark from Vicom Media, and this is the first of hopefully many tutorials on how to create an iPhone app. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and download Xcode and how to become a Apple developer. So let's get started. So we're going to go open Firefox. Now you're going to need to be a uh, developer um, to download the SDK, but uh, I'm going to take you through that process. So click the link in the uh, video description below, then scroll down to uh, iPhone SDK 3.2, or whatever is the latest one, uh, and now join now, unless you are already an Apple developer. Now scroll down to register as an Apple developer. This will be free. Unless you from the start want to be an um, official Apple developer uh, under the their program which will allow you to actually test your apps on the iPhone or iPod Touch and then post them to the um, Apple Store. But it's great if you're just learning it's fine to just get the free one, see if you like it. So then go get started, create an Apple ID, continue. Then uh, sign up. Okay, I'm just going to uh, blur out this part of the video and then come back uh, once I'm done this. Okay, so I've filled out all the information and click continue. So this is the uh, next page. Now we're interested in the iPhone OS, um, but you can check whatever else. Uh, I'm going to go say games, and um, I'm not enrolled in a university. Um, da -da -da. Is it, er, games, entertainment, uh, news utilities and maybe reference there we go uh, free for now uh, new to Apple platforms let's say okay less than a year for me um, no okay Now you have to go to your email and get the verification code and then put in here or click the link that they may get. Okay, now you have registered as an Apple developer. Congratulations. Click continue. From here, let's go to the iPhone Dev Center. Now from here we can go downloads and download Xcode and iPhone SDK 3.2. So now that we've installed the uh, SDK and Xcode, we can go to your Macintosh HD, or your hard drive, and developer, which will be newly created once you download the SDK and install it. Now you have all these uh, folders. Under Applications, you'll have Xcode. Xcode is the main program that everything else will open from, and it is where you do the coding, and then Interface Builder you'll also use quite a bit, um, and that's where you just basically lay out all the components of your apps. Instruments is for testing purposes. Okay, so what I've done is put it here on my dock, and uh, now you're ready to go. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have fun, guys.